everyone, my name is Liam Lanark and I make short tutorials on DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop and Lightroom. Today I'll be making a short tutorial on how to add visual effects to DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to start by opening up DaVinci Resolve and as you can see I have some footage in here and I also have some music and some visual effects. So firstly, I have added a short clip to my timeline, which I'll play for you now. And I've already removed the sound effects from this clip because they were useless to me. So as you can see, it's a pretty boring clip of myself and we're going to start by finding the first point where I sort of um, cock the gun back. I think that's the right term, cock the gun back. I don't know. Leave a comment and let me know <laughs> what the actual word is called. So, right here is when it starts, so I'm going to go to my music and sound effects and I'm going to look for the sound effect of the gun cocking back which I think is this one nope maybe this one nope aha this one all right so I'm going to use this sound effect I'm going to put it in the timeline and it's going to get it to match up. So it's a little bit off there. So I'm just going to move it forward a little bit. And now it matches perfectly. Great. All right, so now I have that sound effect matching. I'm going to move on to adding in the next part, which is the visual effect and some sound effects over where my hand are. So I get all of my visual effects from Action VFX and Footage Crate. They're both great websites. Action VFX at the moment have some free visual effects that you can download uh, from gunshots to blood splatter, like a whole range of different um, effects which are absolutely amazing. Like big shout out to them for putting those up for free for everybody. And Footage Crate also has a quite a large stock of uh, visual effects. They're pretty simple to use. Uh, usually you just drag them over your video footage and crop them just and scale them to how you want them. Anyway, today I'll be using mine from Footage Crate. So here I have, I, if I can find it, I have, here we go, gun stuff. So these are the two I'm going to be using today. I have this one which is a bang, as you can see, it's not in the right spot, so I'll find, actually, I'm gonna go over to the edit tab. So, I'll find the point where I start to cock my hand back, so just before that, I want it to start here. I'm gonna resize it, and I'm gonna rotate it, be pointing in the same direction as my hand. Move the position, the X and Y axis to line up with the top of my hand. I'll rotate it a little bit more so the firing line stays in line with my finger like a gun would. Um, I'm just going to move back and play through to make sure it lines up. Yep, so that looks good. I have another effect here which is just and it's another muzzle flash, but I feel like this isn't quite enough for what I want to portray. So I'm going to add another muzzle flash just on top. Yep, so I'll add that. And I'm just going to move. Oh. So I'll just resize that one a bit smaller. And I actually want this one to not be that 
bright, so I'm gonna lower the opacity on it. So now it should add an extra layer to this, which I might actually move to the bottom of those two effects. So the other one is on top. Yep, that looks a bit better. Looks like it has a bit of an explosion coming from inside of it as well. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, just to add a little bit more of a brightness to it. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my sound effects and I get all my sound effects from Soundstripe. Soundstripe is an amazing website. Again, big shout out to them. Like they really have amazing sound effects and uh, and songs that you can download and I think they're quite affordable compared to other websites like Artlist and stuff by any means this video is definitely not sponsored by them or anyone I just love the um, the ease of use uh, that the website offers uh, so we go into my sound effects um, so I've got the gun cocking back now we want the gun shot going off so i'll go to the start of my sound effect in and out and i'll add that to here so should be in line yep cool so now that's in line what else do i want i want to have like a window breaking, as you can see, there's windows in that direction. So, this one. So, my end point and my out point. And I'll add that there. So now it should all line up. Maybe I'll put it like one. So I just moved the gun shot back one frame because it was a little bit out of time. I think maybe it's just the way that it starts. Oh yeah, as you can see here, it starts a little bit before the actual shot, like one frame. So that's no problem, I'll just adjust that. Now they're all in time. Um, and as we play through a bit here, I get up and I throw the gun away <laughs> for a split second there. So we're going to add a sound effect in here of something hitting the ground. Oh, that's a bullet. This one. This one. Yep, so I like that one. I'm going to add that one in. Now I get out of there. So now if I play it from the beginning, I'll have the sound effects and the visual effects all lining up, which is exactly what I wanted. So here the cocking of the gun. And throw the gun, get out of there. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm going to go a little bit further actually with the sound effects and I'm going to add a, a song over the top just because why not? Um, it adds a bit more ambience to the scene I think so I picked this song also off uh, Soundstripe it's called Alternate Endings or oh, Darker Days by Alternate Endings one of the two either way Great song, really suits the scene.
cool. So that's exactly what I wanted. Some nice uh, dark music, good sound effects, basic visual effects. But I'm gonna take this one step further again and I'm going to cut out one, one scene. So there should be an easier way to do this, to be perfectly honest. I don't know it. Um, I am also beginning in visual effects. I just sort of wanted to start sharing my journey as I was going along. So here I have one scene, I just cut it out. So when I do my color editing, I'm going to add a lot, which I have the Canon C, uh, Canon C log to Rec 709 lot, which I'll add to this. I'll add to this and I'll add to this. Then I'm just going to lift my gain, drop my lift. So the color looks nice. Now it's a little bit orange, so I'm going to make it a little bit more blue. Maybe I'll add a, a tint of green into it. And the contrast, I'll lift a little bit. So, and I'll maybe drop my shadows a little and make my highlights pop a little bit more. And we'll play that. And I'll add that to all the scenes. Now the gunshot, the single uh, shot, uh, the single frame I should say, I'm just going to add gain to this. So it's super bright for that one shot. Uh, there is, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. This is just how I do it. Uh, if you know an easier way to do it, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have a video, link me to it and I'll be sure to check it out. That would help me a lot in the future. So now that I've color graded everything, I've added brightness in that one frame. I'm gonna play it back from the beginning and see what it looks like now. As you can see, it adds a, a nice flash there. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, and now I'm just gonna cut my song to the end. I don't need that anymore. I don't need the end of the song, so I can cut that and I'm gonna go to my effects library, put an additive dissolve at the end of this clip so it sort of fades out. Cool. Go to the sound effect and I'll just make that fade out as well. That's what I want. So that's my short 30 second scene. I'll play it one more time for you guys. I'm quite happy with that and to finish it off like always I just put my output blanking I'm gonna go 2.39 and I'll find the part of my clip so here my head disappears a little bit from the shot and I would like it to stay in the shot so I'm going to just move this clip down a little bit more towards the top right there should be nice now, last time, and I'll end the video. Eeriness, it's got that nice cinematic feel. The music really sets the scene. That, you know, something's building up to happen. And... It 
Looked like it was a little bit off then. Huh. Yeah, so I accidentally, um, the now I need to readjust where the, that effect is because it turns out I, when I moved the whole image, it actually moved where these effects were. So I'll just move them down and now they should match up again. Sweet. Anyway, that's all for today's tutorial. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it didn't bore you. And if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with future tutorials. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.